Idaho gardeners sometimes face a lot of obstacles in order to have a successful garden. So today on You Can Grow It, Garden Master Jim Duthie looks at three common garden pests that local gardeners are now dealing with and ways to fight back against them. Take a look. Over the last few weeks, many of you have been posting pictures of some of the nasty little garden pests that have been munching on your flowers and fruits and vegetable plants and wondering what you can do about them. So I thought we should take a look at three of the more common garden pests around right now and see what steps you can take to get rid of them. The little critter that's been getting the most attention lately is the squash bug. Here's a picture of a squash bug posted to the You Can Grow It Facebook page by Sharon Yaniv Luria. Let me say right from the start that I hate squash bugs about more than any other garden pest. And from some of your comments, many of you feel the same way. The only good thing about them is that some birds seem to find them rather tasty. Squash bugs are dark gray to dark brown, about a half inch to three quarters of an inch long, with alternating orange and brown stripes and two long antenna. They are particularly fond of squash, melon, and pumpkin plants. The adult bugs will lay clusters of dozens of tiny copper-colored eggs on the undersides of the leaves. The hatching larva will then feed off the leaves. Squash bugs will suck the plant fluids from the stems, leaves, and even the fruit, and the plant will eventually die. The leaves wilt and turn yellow, then turn black, dry up, and become brittle. If you suspect damage from squash bugs, act quickly to prevent an infestation and a loss of your entire crop. Check daily to pick off any adult bugs and squash those squash bugs or drop them in soapy water. Then check the underside of leaves for clusters of eggs, scrape them off, or use the sticky side of tape. There are some organic methods to control squash bugs. Spray the affected plant surfaces with neem oil or insecticidal soap or dust it with diatomaceous earth, which is like ground glass on the soft bodies of the bugs, but harmless to pets and people. Clear away any mulch and other debris from the base of the plants so the bugs can't hide. And try planting resistant varieties of squash, like butternuts, acorns, and crooknecks. There are also other plants you can place nearby that will repel squash bugs like marigolds, nasturtiums, and strongly scented herbs like mint. Several people have commented that they have lost part or all of their raspberry patches to raspberry cane borers. Debbie Terry Jensen posted these pictures of the borers and the damage they caused in her berry patch. Raspberry cane borers are slender, long-horned beetles about a half inch long. They're black with an orange thorax and long antenna. Raspberry cane borers aren't always noticeable when they first show up. They'll bore into the new stalks and canes that will bear next year's berries and often lay eggs in the tender tips of new stalks and then bore down into the cane where they'll overwinter. Check the canes for borer entry holes and then prune out those canes and burn them or throw them away. Some commercial sprays are available at garden centers. Aphids are another frequent visitor to our gardens. They're very small, usually less than an eighth of an inch long, and can be red in color, as well as green or brown, and some are black or gray. Some aphids even have a woolly texture, making the plant appear fuzzy. Aphids usually don't cause significant damage to the health of the plant, but they do secrete a sticky fluid called honeydew that drips onto plant surfaces and in some cases can lead to fungus that could damage the plant. You can temporarily dislodge aphids with a blast of water, but they might come back or treat them with neem oil or insecticidal soap. Some gardeners have found that releasing ladybugs onto aphid infested plants is an effective way of getting rid of these pests. An aphid colony is like a Thanksgiving feast to ladybugs and their larvae. You can purchase a carton of ladybugs at many garden centers. These were just three of the many pests that Idaho gardeners have to look for in order to get through the growing season from seed to harvest. But if you're watchful and check your plants every day, you can catch a problem before it gets out of hand and hopefully keep it under control so you can grow it. For Idaho's News Channel 7, I'm Jim Duthie.